So I was well along in, you know, performing a lot in Europe, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, I got a call, and I was signed at this point, by the way, with the Gods and Monsters. I put Gods and Monsters together the year after, in 1989. Mm -hmm. And at first it was all instrumental, like jazz rock with two bass players, and then I said, I'm really going to start writing songs because I don't want to limit this. And for years I'd psyched myself out of this activity. I would say, anybody could write a better song than I could write. I'm not even going to try. I mean, I, you know, I had a very, you know, it, it, it's like I lacked confidence in certain areas. And it, but at this point, I was like, what do I have to lose? Yeah, I'm going to write a song. You know. <laughs> and so they were very well received. And there was a buzz on my band. And then there was a little bidding between Electra Records and Columbia. And I chose Columbia. Back in the days when record labels did that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, and I had a singer I was working with. And I made a kind of Faustian deal with this label and with the singer to just because I had seven people in the group but they said it's all we want to just sign you and the girl so I said all right while I was still under contract Hal Wilner uh, the producer impresario came to me and he said I'm gonna do a tribute to Tim Buckley I said I love Tim Buckley I listened to him in high school when I was at college I used to spin his records on my radio show mm -hmm. he said great well his son Jeff has like come forward and he is very interested in working with you. I said, really? Well, I'd love to. Okay. Sounds good. I was up for a collaboration. Yeah. So yeah. I went down to the church, St. Anne's Church, with m the singer I was working with. And we did our number. And uh, when we pa were packing up, I was packing up, uh, this kid approached me and he looked I said, this must be <laughs> Jeff Buckley, because he looked like a young version of Tim. And he was electric. He was vibing me and popping his eyes and like rolling. <laughs> and he said, you're Gary Lucas. I love your guitar playing. I loved you with Captain Beefheart. And I read about you in Guitar Player. I've been profiled. And I love what you were doing in there. And I'd like to work with you. I said, great. So we, I invited him over to my apartment in the village. and. Uh, we had one of his father's songs called The King's Chain from Sophronia. And uh, I set up a loop and started playing, and he started to sing. And uh, I jaw dropped. And when we finished, yeah. I said, Jeff, you're a fucking star. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. And he said, really? I am, you think? I said, yeah. yeah. So right away, I started thinking, and I said, let's go out to lunch. And uh, we said, like, well, what, what groups do you like? You know, we used to have one of these conversations, mm -hmm. getting to know you. Mm -hmm. So we agreed we both really liked uh, The Doors, The Smiths, and Led Zeppelin. And they all featured this you know, That's okay. lead singer yeah. and, like, guitar hero. And I said, you know, I really would like to develop a project more on these lines, and you would be great as the singer. And he said, I love the name, unlike this other person. I <laughs> love the name Gods and Monsters. It's a great name. So I was like, great. You know, so anyway, I uh, played at this tribute to Tim, and then we started writing together. Then I went on a tour of Knitting Factory artists, like their Caravan of Stars. And I'm on this tour. It was getting four- and five-star reviews all over the place, in The Wire and uh, Q Magazine and whatnot. I came back and called up to Columbia A&R, and the guy who had come in to uh, take over from my rabbi who had left to go to Polygram, this is what happened, folks. Like, my power base in the company had shifted <laughs> across the street, and I was thrown to the wolves. Uh, this guy, who was the junior A&R guy, said, well, Gary, I guess you probably heard the news, but we've decided to drop you. And I said, what? You what? How? We have a contract. And he said something I'll never forget. He said, you can't afford to sue us. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the music business. Yeah, <laughs> that's a fact. So, and then my wife, my long-suffering wife, was like, you got to get that job back. And I said, no, <laughs> man. I'm not going to crawl back to these, and I'm not going back there. I have talent, and I'm going to keep sticking. You know, that's say, the secret of success. You just got to keep sticking to your guns, seriously. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then she said, what are we going to do? We don't have health insurance in our hotel. And in one week, I composed the music that became Grace and Mojo Pin. I just zenned out 
and passed my fingers over the guitar mm -hmm. and heard magic notes and mm -hmm. recorded them as I was playing and shifted the material around and you know poked at it and that's when how did I you when them. did you take when did you take that to Jeff when when did you play that shortly after him? I called him yeah. up and he said I'll be your singer <laughs> he was living out here with his mom yeah and looking for something to do because he had been trying to get something going he had a demo that was falling on deaf ears with A and R folks right. as they often do so the original t intention was to have him as your as your singer in, in in your band yeah yeah oh yeah, yeah. And he said uh, so what yeah. I did was I sent him these instrumental pieces and I had titles one was called and you will and the other was titled rise up to be and both of them were like little messages to Jeff to encourage him like and you will become the star of your dream really? or whatever yeah yeah and to encourage me to, you know you had to rise up to be and move to New York and do this band with me. And, so, so you were you were, were in a sense writing, writing as as um, a, 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 as a sense of kind of motivation and yeah, you know, that's right. encouragement. I'm all about that. I always am here to encourage people, younger players. I think that's your mm -hmm. job on earth. Really, mm -hmm. you should all encourage all your fellow humans. Yeah. Like, 